Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss offshore accident attorney. If you need an offshore injury lawyer, have you been injured in an offshore or maritime accident, then this video is for you. The ocean is the most dangerous workplace on the planet. US maritime industries are found in nearly every state, employing more than 4 lakh workers across the nation. Maritime workers find employment in a variety of fields such as shipyards, marine, terminals, fishing, aquaculture, seafood processing, commercial diving, and marine transportation. According to the Centers of Disease Control, maritime workers face a higher risk of fatality, injury, and illness than the average American worker. From slips and falls to equipment failure, collisions, fires, and unsafe work practice and negligence, offshore injuries usually require costly medical care, sometimes long term. Catastrophic injuries can mean an injured worker who relies on his or her physical ability may not be able to return to work. This can be devastating for families, particularly if the worker is the sole breadwinner and can no longer earn a living. Offshore injuries are covered by laws that are different from those that apply to land-based workers. If you or someone you love has been injured or fallen ill while working offshore, we encourage you to get in touch with an experienced offshore injury attorney at Mortagana Maritime Law as soon as possible. To request your free case there are different types of offshore injuries. When an offshore worker takes uh, on employment in the maritime industry, it's understood that job is physically demanding and comes with inherent risks that are far more dangerous compared to land-based work. Injuries are common and range from the very minor to the horrific and even death. In many cases, minor injuries can become much more significant over time. Some of the most common types of offshore injuries include traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injuries can be sustained in any number of ways. Offshore workers are constantly putting themselves in construction and industrial-like environments. A blow to the head from a slip or fall or being struck uh, by a swinging or unsecured cargo can cause traumatic brain injury. This can result in permanent con uh, cognitive or personality changes. Next is a spinal and back injuries. Operating equipment carrying heavy loads and hard labor can be back-breaking work, requiring many hours of standing, lifting, twisting and pulling. Offshore workers can sustain injuries from falls or being struck by vehicles or unstable loads. A back or neck injury can result in chronic pain, limited mobility and in the most severe cases can result in paraplegia or quadriplegia. Even when medical attention is administrated promptly, there can be long-term disabilities associated with spinal and back injuries. Next type of injury is a slip and falls. Injuries experienced in slips and falls are among the most common. In some cases, slipping on the deck of a ship, a platform can send you overboard, which immediately escalates into a very serious situation. Next type of injury is a loss of limbs. Inadvertently walking into the path of a truck or forklift, working with cables under tensions, or getting a leg cord and crushed beneath unsteady cargo like coils, pipes, plates, and tires can lead to injuries requiring amputation. The loss of a limb is a life changing injury and often requires a prosthetic. Next type of injuries are crushing injuries and broken bones. Offshore work usually entails a significant reliance on heavy machinery either for construction or for day-to-day -day work. Injuries can often occur when this machinery breaks down or when safety procedures are not followed. These injuries often result in broken or crushed bones. Crushing injuries can also result in damage to internal organs and create life-threatening situations. Another common injury is hypothermia and frostbite. Offshore and maritime employees often work in extreme environments and at all times of the day and night. This means that offshore workers are often exposed to extremely cold conditions which can cause hypothermia or frostbite. Next type of injuries are drowning. A fall overboard can quickly escalate into a life-threatening injury especially if recovery is not immediate. Additionally, hypothermia can become an issue even in relatively warm waters. Next type of common injury is lung damage. When safety procedures are not followed or not enforced, or when accidents cause spills, workers can uh, suffer serious chemical injuries. When these chemicals are inhaled, uh, severe and long term lung damage can occur. In certain cases, exposure to high quantities of these chemicals can become immediately life threatening. In other cases, smaller exposures can result in smaller injuries that can become chronic or cumulative. Next and the last type of injury is fatalities. Each year, offshore workers tragically die in accident along the east coast of the United States. If you have lost a loved one who died as a result of an accident or negligence, you have a right to seek damages for their death. So, there I will tell you that how you can claim compensation for offshore injuries. 
A serious injury offshore can be life altering, especially if it's classified as catastrophic, depending on the severity of your injuries and the circumstances that uh, contributed to them. You may be entitled to compensation for number one is a lost earnings. A claim for lost wages can be very important for injured offshore workers and their families. If you are no longer able to work because of your injury, you can seek damages for the earnings you have lost. Next compensation for the medical expenses. If you have suffered a serious injury offshore, there's uh, every chance your medical bills are filling up. You may be able to claim present expenses as well as anticipated future medical expenses. Claims may include costs of surgery, rehabilitation, physical therapy, mental health care, and transportation costs for receiving treatment. Next for the pain and suffering. This can be broken down into physical and mental pain and suffering. The pain of your actual physical injuries as well as the pain and suffering from scaring, disfigurement and um, ongoing complications and the mental pain and uh, suffering including mental anguish, stress and anxiety and loss of uh, enjoyment of life. So additionally, if you qualify as a Jones Act seaman, you are entitled to uh, maintenance and cure, which is a basic right of all seamen. If you have suffered a work-related injury, your employer must pay your general living expenses and medical expenses while you are out of work recovering. The of seaman may qualify for benefits under a different federal law so in the most severe cases of your injuries can lead to death workers families may be entitled to compensation through a wrongful death claim against the responsible party how you can choose the right of your injury attorney if you have been injured in an offshore accident it's critical that you have an experienced maritime of uh, of your injury lawyer by your side who can fight aggressively for your legal rights Maritime attorneys are skilled uh, mitigators who understand federal and state maritime laws and international agreements and have sound judgment when it comes to helping you win your case and getting you the maximum compensation you deserve for your injuries. Maritime law is a highly skilled and specialized area of law and there aren't many attorneys who practice in the field as effectively as the attorneys at Mary, uh, Mort Ghana Maritime Law. Uh, so talk to an experienced offshore injury attorney. Uh, suffering an injury while at work can uh, be a stressful, confusing and traumatic experience for everyone. Your employer might no, uh, not be making the effort you expect to ensure your well-being. Oftentimes employers and uh, insurers use under uh, handy techniques to get offshore workers to settle their cases quickly. That's why it's important you speak to a knowledgeable offshore injury attorney who can advise you of your rights under maritime law. If you have been injured on the East Coast, call the skilled attorney at Modigana Maritime Law to talk about your case. As an injured offshore worker who depends on your physical ability for your livelihood, it's critical that you get the maximum compensation and benefits you are entitled to under maritime laws for you, your family and your health.